fact is so already in a general language you know that factor means so if you know the table then you can recognize the factors very easily right uh, we will go for the factor definition if a uh, b divides a leaving the remainder zero okay leaving the remainder zero then b is called the factor of uh, a and the uh, a is called the multiple of uh, b a is called multiple of uh, b suppose we will take example suppose the 6 suppose i can write the 6 a uh, 1 into 6 because one can exactly divisible one can exactly divide the 6 uh, so that's why 1 into 6 a uh, equal to 6 then 2 2 3 is uh, 6 2 also will uh, divide the 6 exactly next uh, 3 3 2 is uh, 6 then 6 uh, 1 is uh, 6 means uh, here the factors of the 6 uh, are see 1 2 3 6 factors of a uh, 6 are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 6 i think you know everybody this yeah yes. so but uh, in iit the they will ask us like by seeing the number how many factors are there you want to find out by seeing the number you want to find out number of factors how many suppose here number of factors is how many for the 6 1 2 3 4 after writing we know suppose we cannot uh, say suppose 24 as like suppose if i take the 124 if i take any larger number then now uh, finding as like it is a very typical one yes so but uh, by using one technique uh, we can find out the uh, number of uh, factors number of factors of a given number suppose uh, already you know for the 6 uh, so what we done now uh, that's a correct or not once we check so i'm taking the 6 so here you want to take only the prime numbers so 2 so 2 3 is a 6 uh, so 6 equals to 2 into 3 it's a power 2 it came one time 3 came one time 2 came one time 3 also came one time so number of factors number of factors of 6 are equals to see it's a power what is there now for that we want to add 1 for this power we want to add a 1 so then uh, see it's a 2 into 2 that becomes a 4 already we know that 6 factors are 1 2 3 6 4 numbers see number of factors of 6 are is a 4 so we can take uh, another example. Suppose I am taking the 24 number. 24 with a 2 table. Because I have to take only the prime numbers. 2 1s are 2 2s are. Next 2 6 are. Next 2 3s are. So it is completed. So 24 equals 2. See 2 came 3 times. 2 to the power 3 and into 3. Otherwise, you know that uh, you will write as like so 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay. So next one is 2 to the power uh, 3 because 1, 1, 1. Total together is 3. Into 3 to the power 1. Now, number of factors of 24 is see this power power is a 3 that a 3 plus 1 and this power is a 1 so that is 1 plus 1 so it's a 4 into 2 it becomes a 8 so for the 24 8 factors are there they are saying means according to principle once we will check it is it correct or not see for the 24 see 1 24 is a 2 12 is a 3 8 za. so 4 6 za. so once same once again same numbers it will come see 6 4 za, 8 3 za, 12 2 za, 24 1 za. 
see we count one time one two three four five six seven eight see we got the eight means without writing this all uh, we are getting the number of uh, factors in a easy way so we we'll use this one for the little bit bigger numbers first question the natural number other than one which is not a prime is called a dash numbers see uh, by reading that we can say that there is a compositive number composite number okay how once we will check it so we will write the numbers see 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay then i taken the natural number other than see natural number start from the one onwards so one which is not a prime is called means one see this one they given exception and one more they given here a prime not prime means a prime number i want to cancel see yeah so remaining numbers are what remaining numbers are 4 6 8 9 10 so what we call this numbers means this numbers are this numbers have more than one factor more than two also so that's why we call that two numbers as a composite numbers so sec second question all odd numbers are called a prime numbers is this statement a true or false all odd numbers are prime numbers once we'll write odd numbers see odd numbers 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 gone so what is the statement all odd numbers are prime numbers see 1 is a prime number no 3 is a prime number okay 5 is a prime number okay 7 is a prime number 9 is a prime number No, nine is not a prime number. Next, eleven is a prime number. Thirteen is a prime number. Next, fifteen. Fifteen is not a prime number. So, statement is what? False. Got an idea? Third question is: What is the least natural number? Once we will write the natural numbers. See, natural numbers we know. The natural number set is indicated by n, and it will start from one, two, three. That dash up to infinite. So, what is the least one? Least one is one. So, answer is what? One. Next one is what is the number which has a, at least three factors? It's a definition. So, at least three factors means more than the two factors is called as a compositive numbers. So, answer is. Compositive numbers. Fifth question is: What is the sum of ten odd numbers and eleven even numbers? Uh, those who are able to remember this, uh, what I explained, uh, then uh, you can write very easily. But uh, I will give the clue. So, uh, so before writing the answer. We'll go for the general conclusion. Suppose R number one is R number. If I add two times, uh, I am getting the even number. If I am adding a uh, three times, I am getting a odd number. If I am adding four times, I am getting a uh, even numbers. Means a uh, odd numbers. How many times? Ten odd numbers. Ten means even number. Even number of means we are getting even number. Means ten uh, odd numbers plus eleven even numbers. So ten odd means we'll get here. Uh, see, when I am adding the two odd numbers, I am getting the even. Four odd numbers, I am getting the even. Here, three odd numbers means I am getting the odd. But 
our conclusion is for us needed 10 10 is a even so even number of times means we'll get this here even plus 11 now uh, even numbers even numbers suppose example 2 2 plus 2 4 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 suppose 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so that is equals to 8 means uh, how many numbers even if I add also if it means if I add the even numbers we are getting a even number only so here even so finally answer even number plus even number is so even so answer is a even got an idea so what is the sum of the 10 odd numbers and 11 even numbers is a even number Sixth question is the product of the two positive integer and eight negative integer is a dash. So product means what? Multiplication. So first uh, integers. Set of integers is indicated by the capital Z. So it's a minus a infinity to plus infinite dash dash. So here product of the two positive integers product of the two positive integer positive means i am taking c 192 so answer is a 3 3 is a positive one next and 8 negative integers 8 negative integers suppose i am writing as like minus 1 into minus 2 into minus 3 into minus 4 into minus 5 into minus 6 into minus 7 into minus 8 okay by seeing that don't bother because we need a it is a positive number or the negative number okay don't bother about the number okay for suppose if i take the small number 1111 then you will feel very easy now so that's why i taken this example see here i will uh, use the logic suppose 8 8 uh, negative integers what product see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 See now you check it minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus minus into oh, plus into minus 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 into minus plus means a uh, product of a uh, eight negative integers is also positive. positive so positive number into positive number positive so answer is so answer is positive number got an idea the product of two positive integers two positive integers i done one nine two we need only sign plus into plus plus only see if I if I am not keeping any sign, then it is a plus. Plus into plus, plus. So plus no need to keep. So that's why I did not mention here. So next one is product of the eight negative numbers. See eight numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I taken, but I am not doing the uh, I am not doing the numbers. Means a product. Uh, I am not taking the original. See what I am taking only sign. I need the sign only. So that's why minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus so both means together so positive into positive become a positive so answer is a positive number seventh question two relatively prime numbers need not be prime numbers is this statement uh, true so before going for this problem we must ensure recall the uh, definition so relatively prime numbers means the two numbers any numbers that numbers need not be prime any numbers having only one as a common factor that numbers are called uh, relatively prime numbers once we'll check it suppose I'm taking three four I am writing the factors of the 3 and uh, 4. 
means what I am writing factors. So factors of uh, three. So one, three. See factors of uh, four. One, two, four. So common factor. Common factor is seen here one, here also one. So remaining no number. So one. So then now uh, we say three comma four r, three comma four r. Relatively prime numbers. What three comma four are the relatively prime numbers? See what they asked in the question. Relatively prime numbers means two relatively prime numbers need not be prime numbers. See three is a prime number, but four is a prime number. No, four is a composite number. So what the given statement is a uh, true. So answer is. true 8th question the greatest common factor of relatively prime numbers is by the definition itself we can write that directly what is the answer greatest common factor of the relatively prime numbers is see there is a 1 by the definition itself because uh, what is the definition of the relatively prime numbers? Two numbers having the only one as a common factor. Then that numbers are called uh, relatively prime numbers. So relatively they are given here. So relatively prime numbers. So common factor is what? One. That's it. Ninth question. What is the product of the 21 even numbers and 30 odd numbers? Okay. We will check it. Product. Product means what? Into 21 even numbers. Okay. Smallest even number I am taking. So 2. 2 into 2 into as like uh, how many times? 21 uh, times. Times. Next. Uh, 30 odd numbers. 30 means odd number. First odd number uh, I know that uh, 1. Suppose 3 as like whatever also how many times 30 times means 30 numbers I am taking here 21 numbers here I am taking so but I am not going for the original uh, multiplication so here 2 into 2 so don't go for the 2 into 2 I am doing as like see even number into even number 2 to the 4 4 is the even 4 into 2 8 means uh, how many times if we do product also even it is a 21 times also whatever also answer is a uh, even number you will get what you will get even so now 30 odd numbers so product they ask you 30 see 1 3 is a 3 so 3 5 is a suppose if we hear the 5 3 5 is a 15 so if we multiply as like go on uh, 30 times what we are getting odd number means see 1 3 is a 3 so odd only 3 5 is a 15 15 is also odd only as like 30 so here uh, we are, we'll get a uh, odd so now but the question is what is the product product of 21 even numbers and 30 odd numbers so partially we got the answer that is the even and odd now we will check uh, even and odd uh, means uh, even into odd so even number I am taking 2 odd number is a uh, 3 so answer is what 6 uh, 6 is a uh, even so finally your answer is a uh, even see those who are able to remember the principle, they no need to do this much. So they can remember directly. Suppose 
if uh, even numbers if you are multiplying the even numbers we will get the even numbers if you are uh, means multiplying the odd numbers we will get odd numbers only so odd into even uh, even that's it 10th question what is the absolute value of the minus 10 so absolute value so what is that see absolute means uh, the symbols will come we say that uh, modular and in between that uh, minus 10 minus 10 so once everybody remember that when we are keeping the in between of that symbol any number it may be positive number it may be negative number whatever the resultant answer is a uh, positive so here answer is uh, 10 got an idea see we can make a principle also suppose positive a is there answer is a only suppose minus a then also positive a only. so remember the principle absolute value so in between that symbol any number it may be positive it may be negative the result is a positive number 11th question every recurring decimal is a dash number so recurring first we must and should know the meaning of the recurring okay so i'll give the one example suppose 1.2323 2, 3. See, recurring means uh, repeating. So, so the decimal is repeating. Okay. So here the 2, 3, the two digits are the repeating. So then that uh, 1.232323 is a recurring decimal. What? Recurring decimal. So now I can write this one in the form of 1.23 bar. See, every as like number we can write in the form of the p by q we can write in the form of the p by q already i explained this one in a uh, first uh, period means in the first session i explained so if we if we are able to write in the form of the p by q then that number is called a rational number so answer is a So rational number because we can write this one in the form of the p by q okay if you want means i'll explain this one also how i can write this one in the p by q form see one two three all the digits minus the digits not having the bar so the digits not having the bar is a only one this one divided by how many digits having the bar that many nines two digits have the bar so two nines after the decimal place that is it's not having the bar so no digit is there so answer is 122 by 99 so we are able to write in the form of the p by q so that's why it is a rational number rational number definition is are you able to remember the number which are in the form of the p by q where the p comma q are the integer q is a not equal to zero but p may be so then that numbers are called uh, rational numbers. Twelfth question. How many rational numbers exist between the, any two rational numbers? What's the question? How many rational numbers exist between any two rational numbers? Okay. For this, I'll take a number line to get a easy idea. See here the zero think that here the one so rational numbers rational numbers means fractions also it will come now in between of the 0 and 1 middle that is 1 by 2 already I explained this one also in the principal method see this is A this is a B then A plus B by 2 method ok so in the same way 0 and 1 by 2 so here 1 by 4 because 0 plus 1 by 2 divided by 2. So 1 by 4. Now 0 and 1 by 4. 1 by 8. 0 and 1 by 8. Uh, 1 by 16. 
if you write uh, go on as like we'll get infinite number of rational numbers will be exist between the two rational numbers first taken the i taken the 0 and 1 see then in between of this this is there in between of this two 1 by 4 is there in between of this two 1 by 8 is there in between of the 1 by uh, 8 and the 0 1 by 16 is there so as like so what is the answer here infinite Thirteenth question is pi is a rational or irrational? Means uh, rational means the numbers which we can write in the form of the p by q. That numbers are called the rational numbers. Irrational numbers means the numbers which we are not able to write in the form of the p by q. That numbers are called the irrational numbers. How we can decide that? After doing the division. If we do the division, then we can know. Yeah. Okay. See pi. Pi value is a uh, 22 by 7. So 22 by 7. So I am taking a uh, so here 7 22. So 7 3 is a uh, 21. So 1 remains. 1 it won't go. So then decimal. Here the 0. 7 1s are 7. So 3 remains 0. So 7 4s are 28. Then 2 remains 0. 7 2s are 14. So now 20 minus 14 is a 6 a 0. So then 7 na is a 7 is a 56 sir. so once again here 4 remains 0 7 5 is a 35 so here the 5 remains 0 so then next 7 7 is a 49 here are 1 remains so 0 then 7 is a 1s are 7 here the 3 remains so 0 30 so 7 4s are 28 so once again 2 0 7 2s are 14 once again 6 0 7 9s are 56 4 0 7 uh, 5 is uh, 35 once again 5 0 7 7 is uh, 49 1 remains so we can write uh, see here the this numbers are the repeating this digits are the repeating I can write this is 3.142857 bar okay which we can uh, write in the form of the p by q so then uh, that is a rational number but actually pi value is a uh, different generally we will take that pi equals to 22 by 7 it's an approximate value it is not an accurate so what is the pi value so pi equals to c that pi equals to c by d c means uh, circumference of a circle by diameter circumference of the circle by diameter its value by the supercomputer our scientists they good as like that is 3.1415 Nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight as like go on up to hundred digits 
means uh, there is a no end for this uh, number so pi is an irrational number pi is an irrational number